Hi, this is Shadi and today I'm going to be discussing with you Judo Katas and the significance and the importance of them and the lesson behind each uh, one of them. I've talked about the importance of Kata before in my Fabio Basile Deashi Harai analysis video uh, how he took the form of the Kata uh, of Okuri Ashiharai and how he applied it in high level competitions and eventually made it to the Olympics winning gold medals. So. Uh, let me reiterate and make myself very clear. Katas alone will not make you a very skilled fighter or an Olympic champion. Uh, they are a very helpful tool in your training uh, to simply learn positioning, detailing in the technique, uh, timing and also synchronize with your partner because it quote unquote takes two to tango. So. That's why uh, Aikido and other forms of martial arts uh, alone do not make an effective self-defense uh, martial art. So let me make myself very clear, katas alone are not enough for competition. Sparring is essential in order to apply the principles learned in kata with, of course, the strategy and the creativity of each judoka or any martial artist in whatever a martial art they happen to train so the first kata we're gonna be looking at is the nage no kata you see here in front of you uh, it is the first kata you learn in judo and it basically means um, form of throwing and this one is to teach you the basics of throwing it is comprised of 15 techniques three uh, hand techniques te waza three hip techniques or koshi waza uh, three uh, sutemi waza sacrificing techniques, three yoko sutemi waza or side sacrificing techniques, and three ashiwaza leg techniques. Uh, it basically initiates you to become uh, in rhythm with your partner, uh, also the kuzushi, and also uh, timing for throwing and to position yourself well before you throw. This is the idea or the lesson behind this kata. This is the one you need to learn in order to pass uh, first dan or first degree uh, black belt. So there is another one called katami no kata, which is a hold or pins form, which is very important. Also, it teaches you pins, uh, chokes and locks all on the ground. So it is like the nage no kata, but for neiwaza or ground. Uh, technique so this is basically nage no kata it teaches you uh, principles of throwing form timing and synchronize with a partner which is gonna be your uh, sparring partner during randori so you apply these principles in randori with a lot of practice you'll be able to apply them very effectively very similar to fabio basile The second kata that I want to touch on is the Goshin Jutsu no kata. Um, it is a fairly new kata compared to the old ones. This one uh, was not added to the curriculum by uh, Jigoro Kano. It's actually very recent. It was invented in 1956. It uh, basically means form of self-defense made uh, for the police because of the invention of new firearms, etc. So it is actually a similar to another older form of kata called kime no kata, which resembles a bit uh, suwariwaza in Aikido, the uh, techniques performed when you're on your knees, as you see here, uh, but with much older and more traditional weapons like the sword, for example. Uh, in Goshinjutsu no kata, you have uh, very new weapons added like the gun uh, like a short uh, staff that people can hide and also the knife so it is very practical for the police to drill and also for self-defense in general like i said katas do not make you good in self-defense alone you need to spar and apply the principles you need to learn in katas for example this one you need to learn angles and also uh, line of attacks 
that stuff also being taught in Aikido, you need to deflect an attack and also take a slight angle outside it. You don't need to interact it with force, you need to let the attack slide right next to you and then you can deal with it after creating an angle. So these are the principles that need to learn but they need to be applied and uh, applied effectively during sparring. I'm sure the police spar uh, like you see for example the uh, IDF um, sparring and applying Krav Maga principles. They don't just do the kata forms or the drilling forms but you know as they say drillers are killers that's why uh, kata is very important whether you do for example BJJ which has no kata and you drill with your partners or your rolling partners constantly aside from rolling you become very effective that's the idea of kata it's not meant to be done just alone it is uh, a form of teaching you the principles to become second nature to you and then trying to apply them in the stress of sparring so in short, this kata, the Goshinjutsu no kata, it is meant for self-defense against weapons and strikes uh, and also for the police in 1956. It is a modern version of the Kime no kata which used uh, traditional The third kata that I want to touch on is the Kaishi no kata. The Kaishi no kata is particularly interesting and very uh, important and crucial in my opinion because it teaches you that every technique, whatever it is, it has a reversal and it has a counter. So it teaches you two things. The first is uh, how to counter techniques, obviously, and the second uh, to be to learn where you go wrong during a technique in order to get countered whether it is positioning timing etc so this uh, kata is rather very interesting and from a philosophical standpoint it is uh, quite uh, humbling in my opinion what do i mean by that it teaches you that you know nothing is invincible in judo you need to always be on your guard while performing a technique or whatever your technique may be, how powerful it is, no matter how many times you scored with it, there's always an answer to everything. Kosei Inoue, his last match ever in the All Japan against Yohei Takai, the Uchimata, his bread and butter, the one that he has won with it, countless medals, it was countered and ended in the end of his own competitive career. So it is a very... Um, humbling kata if you ask me from a philosophical standpoint and it teaches you that whatever it may be a technique or a situation it has a counter and it has a solution so this kata is i believe very underrated it should be practiced uh, for the first dan just like nage no kata maybe not all of the techniques but uh, at least half of it in order to understand the importance of kaishiwaza or the reversal or countering techniques. The fourth and final kata is the koshiki no kata. 
I've already touched on this one. It is from the Kitoriyu Jiu-Jitsu School. Uh, Jigoro Kano added it to the Judo curriculum and it basically means the form of antics or ancient things. It is a very important kata in my opinion, also very underrated uh, because of the slow movements, but it teaches you a lot of things that you need to constantly move and uh, be well positioned with your partner in order to control them and throw them. And the second thing is kuzushi. Kuzushi is basically uh, breaking balance. Uh, you see when you do hite or uchikomi, you need to lift your opponent on the tip of their toes and then they will be very prone to throwing and falling regardless their weight, their height uh, or strength. So this kata teaches you this and also uh, to move well with your opponent in order to control them. I see a lot of these principles used to exist or still exist in Aikido is you move with them and in order to place them from point A to point B, uh, you need to move with them while having a lower center of gravity. Anyone who does Aikido should know this and also lifting someone on their toes in order to control them whether it's a throw or a lock. Actually some techniques in Koshiki no Kata made it to Goshinjutsu no Kata, the self-defense. So uh, when someone shows you this, whatever Jujutsu form and you can see it on a McDojo life and people talk how nonsense it is it's actually teaching you a lot of hidden principles uh, that you need to know but you have to be patient and also apply them in sparring these alone i'm gonna say this countless times these alone are not enough but the principles in them when applied for sparring they will make you a very good and competent fighter whether in self-defense or just simple competition. So katas are very important. They do deserve a video of their own and talked about uh, deeply. So like I said, I cannot talk about all the katas in one video. It's going to be very long. And also, I don't know all of them. So I'm talking mainly about the ones that will teach you the basics, basic form of self-defense, countering, uh, throwing, and also the katame no kata, pinnings and choking and locks on the ground. Uh, I hope you found this video informative. Please like it if you learned a thing or two. If you have another thing to add, you can always say it in the comments. It is wide open. This was